Hi, Michelle Seitz here. You're watching Fixing Errors in the Table of Contents. Here's the scenario. You have a table of contents that includes some sections of the document that appeared in the TOC, but you did not want them. You want to know how to correct the errors. Watch this video to learn how to do this. I will demonstrate in Word 2013, but this scenario can be applied to all versions of Word for the PC. When you create a document, you will want as few font styles as possible in your document so that if you need to fix the characteristics of the text, you will only have to modify one style associated with that type of text. However, that is not always the case when you have a document that consists of text from a variety of sources. When this happens, if you don't QC or review your document styles, you may end up with many unwanted entries in your table of contents and your document may not have the correct formatting that you want. So the first thing you'll want to do is take a look at the styles in your document. You will need the style area pane open to do that. If you set up the style area pane before, just go to the view tab and click in the views group and select draft. For Word 2003, go to view normal. If you do not have the style area pane set up, go to file, options, advanced, and in the right side, go to the display section. In the style area pane width in draft and outline views, enter a number such as 1.5 inches. In Word 2003, go to tools, options, view, in the outline and normal options, in the style area width, enter 1.5 save it and go back to the document go to the view tab and click in the views group and select draft in 2003 go to view normal now you should be able to view all the styles in your document if you scroll down the document you can quickly correct the styles by just clicking in the document and selecting the correct style The only styles you will not be able to see in this view are in the figures themselves and in the tables. You will need to be in those items to view and correct them. I'm going back to the print layout view. I will show you the entries that I do not want in the table of contents. When I click on the entry, it will take me directly to that item in the document. So if the item is not in a table, I can open the style area pane and see what style is applied to the text. If the style applied is a style that I want in my TOC, it will be pulled into the TOC. If I did not want that text in the TOC, I will change the style to be the appropriate style for that text. I will continue to go to the TOC and click the unwanted text and correct them until I've completed the document. If the entry takes you to a table, such as we have here, highlight the text in the table. If the highlighted text is in the style gallery, you'll see it there. If you don't see it there, open the styles dialog box. Scroll down until you see the style that is associated with the text and correct that style. Keep going through the entire TOC until all the entries are corrected. When you have finished correcting the entire document, right click in the TOC and update the entire table. And that is the end of this lesson, fixing errors in the table of contents.